Hi Bella, um, so this is a quick video just to run through the, the process and I will send you the documentation as well. So so yeah, let's get to that. So I've set up a QGIS project and in this QGIS project we have households, we've got the major roads, then we've got the, well, this is the exported uh, version of the household. So, so for instance, I've just exported some local households that intersect with the grid these are the all of the other households so when I export this to Qfield I'm not going to be exporting all of the households because they that file is too big I will just be exporting the ones that are in the the region or the vicinity of the actual verification grid okay and then this is the grid that uh, we are looking at and what it is is a it's a polygon grid with 25 separate cells and they are 100 by 100 meter cells okay so they are they are 100 by 100 meter cells the idea is that when this is uploaded onto a Qfield project and onto an Android device whoever the GIS technician is or the surveyor is will walk into the field to the first cell or whichever cell they want to start with once they see themselves on the screen uh, which is um, shown up by that little blue dot on the cell phone they will then count the number of structures in the cell manually okay so they will they will note how many households there are and what I've got here is I've got a number of different um, columns representing the different types of structures that there could be so for instance they will count the number of households and they will capture it in QGIS uh, in QField count the number of schools if there's zero there's zero number of churches also if there's probably not going to be many of these and then and so on the idea being that when we go back and we compare this to the original data that has been captured from the the um, desktop study we'll be able to see how many households were if households were overcounted or undercounted based on the type of buildings okay then once they and then uh, the last thing the last two administrative buildings so these could be any government building or municipal building um, and then other buildings so the, these could be infrastructural any other building that doesn't suit or fit into these other categories can be listed here so the majority of the time per cell these will probably be um, zero you might get the odd shop and then occasionally the odd other building but I, I'm imagining that the majority of them will be households then once they have finished with a cell they will click uh, or they will they will type yes so I'll show you how this works if I if I was doing it in in um, in QGIS for instance we would count the number of households let's say there were three and then there's no schools and there's no other buildings the evaluation is finished we say yes okay the minute we have finished with that cell and clicked yes under evaluation the cell turns green so the surveyor or the GIS te technician now knows that that cell has been completed and they don't need to move back in there so they will see the little blue dot they will see themselves walking around within that cell and then they will know whether they are in a cell that has been evaluated or one that still needs to be evaluated okay so I'm just going to stop editing and discard those changes because now what I want to do is export this to QField so then we'll go to QSync package for QField I'll just double check the information here and so we are going to export the Google hybrid background image alright yes uh, we are not going to export the Google satellite imagery we will forward the we will bring through the household uh, information um, the bigger one or the the the, the majority or the, the the broader area households we are not going to bring through and what else uh, this one we don't want to we're going to remove that and we're also going to remove actually we can maybe leave that one OSM standard okay we can leave that one as well I think that should work okay so let's say okay and then we are going to export it to the GPS export household verification study folder so I can say create and then I just need to copy that onto my device okay so I'm going to go into um, Windows Explorer I need to go and find my device to turn it on 
Okay, so my device is turned on. Now let me go and get that folder from the the project uh, folder, which is here. It's this one here. So I'm going to copy that one. Go back to my cell phone. I'll put it in Documents, and I'll paste it in there. Okay, so that's what you will do per device for whoever's going into the field to survey it. And what we might do, currently there's only one verification grid, but we might add a number of grids for different parts of the country. So we want to, to, to do this verification study for different areas just to compare the data and see if there is a uniform uh, discrepancy or if there are any discrepancies, just to get an idea of of what those uh, differences might be. Okay, so we will all you, all we'll do is we'll just um, recreate that grid and just paste it in different areas. So then once that whole grid is turned green, for instance, if the surveyor has got time to go and capture another grid during the day, they can just go to the other grid and work on that one. Okay, so let's see what it looks like on my phone. Okay, so here I am with my phone now. So I'm just going to just scroll through and find the QField application. So now I'm in the field and I'm walking around to that grid. So I need to find that grid. So I open up QField and then open local file, internal storage, documents, GPS, export, HHBS, and then household verification. Open that one. And then that opens up with my grid. Okay, so now I've got my, my usual story, so I've, I've exported the, the, the layers that will be of use to me. So if I, if I expand the menu, I can, for instance, uh, I've got base map turned on there, but what I can do is I can turn off the OpenStreetMap standard layer. And now I've got my base map. Okay, so now this base map um, is on, based on... Just having a look, I see I'm also missing my households are not turned on either. So let me turn on my households as well. So we can leave those off. So the households layer, I'm just turning it off again, actually doesn't need to be on for the study, but you can turn it on if necessary. So, so now we're going to go to, to block one. We're walking around block one. Now this is where the surveyor will need to decide how they're going to count um, if they're going to have a little notepad with them, walk around and count the actual households in the area, and then when they're finished, update and edit that cell. So let's let's say we've walked around, we've counted the households as well as the other structures. We go back uh, to the menu. We're going to start editing the verification grid. So I want to click on the verification grid, click on the pencil, go back. Okay, I can now edit it. So now if I select that cell okay it, it pops up and then what I do is I click on the 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 relative ID for that cell and now I can actually start populating so I'm going to I need to start editing so I click on the little the little a and a pencil to start editing and then I can say okay there were two households there all right and there were no schools, so you actually don't need to fill out anything if there if there's no other data. We can maybe say there was uh, one shop as well. And then lastly, when you're finished, we say, all right, we've finished the evaluation of this particular cell, so we can say yes, and then click on the tick to finish that evaluation, and then we can then we can move off to the next one. So the minute you have finished with one, it turns green. So we now know that that cell has been evaluated and we can move on to the next cell and start counting structures. When all 25 cells are green, that's finished and we can move to the next grid or we can take this phone back and hand it back to the GIS technician. Okay, so when we are finished, it's just a case of downloading that data from our phones back onto our computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the original files that export file for verification study. In fact, what I can do is what I'll rather do is I'm going to let's duplicate this. I'm going to copy and paste that and rename it export from export to down download and just rename it like that. Okay, so now that 
we'll just make it empty, take everything out of it. So we'll go to our phone, get that information. So I'm just going to copy the contents. Oh, I've gone too far up. Back to that folder. Verification study, we'll put it in here now. Paste it in there. And then what we can do is we can actually go and open that in in QGIS. Let's discard these changes. Let's go and open that one. So this is when the, the actual verification study will start, where we'll do the comparisons. So this is not really important to know just yet. Uh, the, just the process of capturing and updating that data. Um, that's what we want to get to with this so far. Okay, so that's what I've just captured in the field. If we just uh, select the verification study grid, open it up, and we can see that there were two households, one shop, and that's how it reflects and it's been evaluated okay so hopefully these will all be green uh, by this stage of the study then it's just going to be a case of us turning on the households doing a count points in polygon and then comparing the uh, the columns and maybe working out a percentage error and then highlighting or coloring up graduating a, a color based on that error so that areas that are red have got a high uh, or a large difference areas that are green maybe have a low difference and you can immediately see where the potential errors are and if we need to uh, apply some sort of change or some sort of uh, correction factor to the data that we have that's it um, hope it's been useful uh, this is a first draft or concept of, of how this methodology methodology could work um, maybe show it to Irvin and John and then uh, we can take it from there. If we need to make some changes, if they think the methodology should change slightly, uh, we can yeah we can take it from there and see what would work going forward.